Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How are y'all doing today? Uh, thanks for joining us today. I have um, a 12 by 12 canvas down and I made a new base color which is silver. And all it is is my Color Place house paint from Walmart, ready to use white, and I incorporated Artist Loft Silver. That's all that's in it. No silicone, no glue, no water. So today I am going to drizzle another color on the base, which is dioxazine purple. The reason I'm doing that is because my main color that's going to explode in the end, I let Phil pick out the color because I picked out the blues. Phil wanted a light purplish orchidy. So he picked out French lilac. But my colors I no, picked these out, are for the bloom, these, colors. these are all for the bloom, and these are the colors I picked out. Ocean Wave by Color Art Pigment, Mediterranean Blue with Tanzanite Color Art Pigment, my Macro Pearl by Pearlex, Stargazer Color Art Pigment, Pixie Dust Extreme Pastel Blingit by Color Art Pigments, African Jade Color Art Pigments, and Phil picked out French lilac color art pigments. So now, we're gonna see how this goes. So I'm hoping that last color, the lilac, is what the bloom is, the main center of the bloom. So we'll see. It should be, and I'm putting just drizzling some of this dioxazine purple in my color place, ready to use house paint. Just to have it maybe give a little bit of a tinge. So we'll see. I've been dying to try the silver base, so yeah, that's, that's uh, what we got going today. The silver base. Oh boy, now she wants to play again. She's all excited, people, because we actually took her for a walk today. It hasn't been as hot. She's playing with her babies. We call all her toys her babies. It's extremely uh, humid here, but not as hot, which is a good thing. I'm gonna get my, um... of course, you know, my cell activator is going to be black. Okay, so let's get started with our bloom. And uh, hey, everybody, make sure you go to Redbubble because Phil uploaded some really, really cool images, not only of my blooms and stuff, but my other abstract paintings throughout the house. They're incredible. They are absolutely incredible. You gotta go and see them. They're so cool. He surprised me with that one because he goes, you, you gotta see what I, so I'm thinking, what are you doing? You're here by the computer all day. And I'm thinking, okay, let's see what he's doing. Now for those of you who don't know, before Kathy got into pore painting, uh, she spent many years doing abstract acrylic paintings and we have them all around our house and so forth. Cool. So I, I took some of those uh, pictures of some of those and threw those images out there onto Redbubble. And it's very easy to do. You go out to her shop, when I'll have a direct link to her shop on Redbubble. You click, uh, you look at the images that are out there, click on the image that you like, and it'll pop up all the different products that that image can be put on. And uh, so for example, there's a pillow back there. It's one of Kathy's images from one of her coasters. Um, they have very nice quality products. I'm dripping today, Phil. You're dripping today? Yep. Well, that's this okay. This is Mediterranean Blue with Tanzanite. We started our bloom colors while Phil was explaining Redbubble, which is really cool. Hope everybody's doing well today. We're pretty good so far today. I can't believe it's September 1st. Oh, I know it. It's going to be, Christmas is going to be here before you know it. <laughs> well, actually, Christmas is already at Hobby Lobby because they have all the Christmas stuff out. And they already have 40% off all the Christmas stuff at Hobby Lobby here. Oh, brother. Yeah. I think Halloween kind of went by the wayside. <laughs> and I love Halloween. But yeah, I mean, they get this stuff out so early. But a lot of people that make um, different things for Christmas, 
wreaths and everything. Well, absolutely. I mean, you got to have all, all your materials you out. See, you have to start making that. Well, probably you should have started making that way before now. Yeah, because when I made wreaths, I had mine done by now. You, you have to be a whole season, season ahead. Yeah. Yep, because I would be uh, actually starting my Valentine now. Now, speaking of Christmas, uh, the Red Bubble shop that Kathy has... As I said, it has a variety of products, very reasonably priced, anywhere from just a couple of dollars all the way up to probably $50, $60, $70. But they make nice Christmas gifts. They really do. They're really, really cool. I actually ordered a couple more shirts, Phil. I know you did. You tried, <gasps> to, you tried to sneak them without me knowing. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. This okay. is going to be something. Well, I got to get the purple out mm -hmm. on there. I'm just trying to do this. Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art Primary Element Pigments and their products, Arteza Paints and their products, and KS Resin. And you can get some nice discounts if you're looking for some supplies through the links in our in the uh, description box. Oh, yes, wow. you can. This I'm is hoping, your color, I'm Phil. I'm hoping that does it. That's Marissa, your color. Really nice blue. That's blue. the French lilac. Okay, so the first color I have down is the ocean blue. The second color is the Met Mediterranean blue with the tanzanite. The third color is the macro pearl by Pearlex. The fourth color is stargazer. The fifth color is pixie dust. Then I did my African jade and Phil's French lilac. Okay. So we're going to see. And of course, you know, the old standby, <laughs> black cell activator. Which is simply black paint and Floetrol. Correct a mundo. Just got to get a little bit more right there. And we're done. Okay. Bring it back to the middle a little bit. I gotta put my abracadabra on this, but people yesterday, good thing my abracadabra worked because I didn't have my, <laughs> I didn't have my canvas uh, stuck on my sticks. You think God it didn't fly off? Yeah, so my abracadabra really worked yesterday. <laughs> might have been a little bit too light but we'll see yeah well, it's um it picked up some but it's picking up more of the uh, blues which is fine i like blues too probably should have gone a little bit darker with oh, the see. uh purple uh -huh. well it's okay that's okay. but we did yours it's fine it'll be pretty you have a lot of beautiful cells popping up yes you do it's going to be a beautiful bloom. Yeah. And you just want to blow very lightly through your straw. And the reason you use the straw, I think, is to, to direct it exactly where you want it. And instead of uh, blowing more area than you really want to move. Well, yeah, I need to. Yeah. Pretty. It's very pretty. I'm just kind of wishing that that was a little bit darker. I, I agree, but once you spin a room, well, my magic isn't that good, Phil, to bring that color deeper. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be my French lilac. It can be. Lilac and blue. You know nature. You can't control nature. What was that color, uh, or what was that uh, flower we had back home that was in the white, but they had that oh. color? Uh, Tiff has this color in Tennessee. What? 
I what was that flower? The big I, blooms. I know, I know what you're talking about. And we didn't that. like them in white. I can't remember. Because the colors are so pretty compared to the white ones. Ooh, baby. Look at that, Phil. Ooh. Yeah, that is a beautiful bloom that you did. It's really pretty. I still like the uh, the tinges in there. I like the tinges. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I would have loved to have the whole thing in the lilac, but next you time. don't always get what you want. Next time, we'll do the lilac. There we go. Okay. Abracadabra, and I do, as you can see, have it down with my <laughs> frog tape today, because yesterday when I spun it, uh, Phil goes, just spin it lightly, and I went, oh my gosh, thank God I did, because I didn't tape it. It's like, but I remember that today. But it did fly off, which was good. Okay, here we go. It's maintaining your purple in the middle, Phil. Yes. Which is going to be pretty. Oh, that is really, really pretty. That's a beautiful bloom. Yes. It's really, nice. I don't think I want to spin it again. How do you have a to? A little. Okay. Just a little. You know me. And I didn't even wreck it because I didn't want to spoil it. I don't have to wreck everything. That's true. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. It's got just enough of the purple in there. And I yes. can see a little bit of the lilac coming through. See the lilac coming through from uh, putting the purple down on the base with the silver? Oh, yes, yes. And here's the silver. There's some of it uh, right there. Mm -hmm. The silver base is coming through. Oh, it's pretty. This is really yes. pretty. I love this. Okay, everybody. Let's just take a closer look at the middle there. This is very, very pretty. I'm excited about this. It draws your eye to the center. Yes. Okay, everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell because a lot of people have been complaining on different sites as well that they're not getting notified. Um, Google sometimes just does goofy things but um, hit the bell because that means that you will be notified every time we upload a video. Leave me a comment. Um, I'm here to help you achieve this. So if you like it, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you are a subscriber already, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're trying to reach 10,000. We hit seven, which we're so excited. And um, until the next time, everybody, stay healthy, have a great day, and see you later, alligators. Bye.